Hello, this is um uh leftovers. Sorry, I got my froze for a second. Um this is leftovers season three episode four. G Day Melbourne, I think it says. G Day Melbourne? Hold on. G Day Melbourne. <clears throat> Melbourne being Australia, of course. So I'm um Assuming that they're gonna head, they're finally gonna make it to Australia. So let's see if I remember where we left off on the um on the series. It's early in the morning again. <laughs> I'm just gonna, gonna be a little bit quiet in the early morning. Uh, okay. Uh, is uh okay. The Garvey's are headed to Australia, which we didn't get to see last time. Well, we did see one Garvey, but he was already in Australia. We got to we got to see the last episode was uh, the crazy wet fella thinking. It was an awesome episode. We got to. They focused on. Uh, there's always a. There's always a couple episodes where they focus on one person, and this season was focused on. Um, so far, the, the focus was on the father. And his journey into Australia, which is a crazy one. Yeah, crazy. Uh, he thinks he's trying to save the world. Uh, that'd be awesome to think it's true, but man. We've been let down so many times with so many situations in this story where it's always, it turns out that, well, it's up for interpretation maybe, but it tends to side on the, on the fact, it tends to side on the, on the, it tends to err on the side of, you're just crazy. But his one really sounds nuts. He got to go learn all the Aborigine songs or whatever to be able to stop the apocalypse or stop the flood he's trying to sing every one of their songs or something and then the last guy mr charlie sunday or whatever something was it something like that yeah something something sunday or whatever that that guy he is the last one he's the only one who knows his song they made sure to let you know that because he ends up falling on top of him he's dead he died and now he has no way to know the song. I have no idea what he's gonna do. What what what, what does he do with that? Because he can't complete the the song. Because that's the only guy who knows it. That's the problem. With the one, that's the problem with being the only one who knows your song. If you die, nobody else learns it. That's it. It's gone. He doesn't seem. He doesn't seem too upset about it though. He was saved by. Uh, he almost died in the desert, being left behind after the guy died. And he found his way to this group of um these 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 three girls or whatever. Uh, actually, there's more of them. There's a bunch of people who are already building a boat by this church and all this. What a coincidence! It happens. It seems like it's almost like they were drawn here to. They didn't really tell him anything though, so I'm not sure what they're thinking of him. But is it can't be a coincidence that he's trying to stop a flood and these guys are already making a boat, right? That's great. I don't know how that how that that actually adds credence to his credibility. It adds credibility to his to his claim of saving the world, though, because he ends up in a he just happens to end up in a place with the freaking boat. The freaking world works in mysterious ways. Uh but anyway, the two girls are um, well, that, well, I think it was two girls. Whatever. But anyway, the main one, she killed a guy thinking he was Jesus Christ or something like that some kind of messianic figure and based on scripture because that scripture that, that Matt had written guy in her hands and it says um, that he is uh, that oh Kevin the chief of police is some kind of um, you know Jesus Christ kind of figure and she got the wrong Kevin what are, what, are the, what are the odds that the chief of police was named Kevin in Melbourne and then it turns out that she, uh, it turns out that the uh, freaking Kevin here himself. What what an amazing um, circumstances to have set up. I mean, basically, Kevin Senior fits the exact description. He is also named Kevin, and he is he was chief of police. If they ever find that out, they may just go after him. He's got to be very careful. That's why he hasn't revealed his name yet. They haven't revealed his name yet to the to the girl, the lady, because you know what's gonna happen when when she does. So I'm trying to figure out what he's doing here. What is he trying to do now? But she was ready to turn herself in, and he convinced her to stay off the down, to to stay on, stay on target, stay on the path. 
the, 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 these, these, this is, this is, this is a good thing. This is, this is the right thing to do. You just have the right, wrong Kevin. I don't have no idea what he's, um, well, he knows what the scripture means. So does that mean he's going to be, he's going to tell him, he's going to tell him it's his son. And what they, what are they going to do when that happens? Because Kevin's never going to go for that. Kevin Jr. and all that. He's never going to go for the concept of, uh, I'm, I'm Jesus Christ or whatever. He's not going to say, he's not, he's not going to accept that. He's not religious. And even if he was, he still probably would. I don't, I don't know if he'd be, you know, he got to be pretty. He got to be pretty arrogant to, to believe that that is the case. So, so um, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna go down. Uh, anything else? Oh yeah, um. Thank you, uh, Terry Nation, in the comment section for letting me know that the, um, I thought that the lady who, that lady, I forgot, I forgot her name, uh, oh, shit, what was her name, I forgot her name, but, uh, the one who killed the guy and drowned him and all that, I thought she was the same person who was in the, the first episode with the old Nora timeline. She was like, do you know Kevin? And stuff. I thought that was still her, but I didn't realize it was a different, different, different person. So, uh, that makes a lot more sense. Got it. The, it's a different person. But it's interesting that they're still looking for Kevin. Even in the in the future timeline or whatever. Whatever that is, they're still looking for Kevin. Weird. But that's about it. Um, for catching up with catching up with the series, let's get into it. <clears throat> Wait, this is—is is every episode gonna be different this time? Like this one. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, are we in Australia? I think she the likes it. Sorry. I think she's getting a thrill out of this. <laughs> I knew it. She's like getting turned on by the thrill of the whole thing. <laughs> they both are. What do they know about me? Well, sure they do. And they still think you're gonna get into this thing? I'll say that you were in a toxic codependent relationship. <laughs> and we both come to realize that we're better off apart than together. Was that how she feels? Hydra? You gonna look your dad up? Look him up. I brought your book. Yep, he didn't. Yep, true. He didn't want to find out. Oh, the sun rose. Doesn't mean she's in the book too. Though. And he placed. Fuck. Wait, how did Matt know about that part? She's too desperate for somebody who's just like, oh, this is a job. Oh, good day. I was like, G day. Good day. Good day. <laughs> hey, he's in another hotel room. Maybe the dad stayed there. Kind of yeah, looks I like the place in hell, or wherever that limbo place was. Meanwhile, this man, Kevin Garner, <laughs> an American <laughs> holidaying down under. He saw his little freaking TV of all places. Oh, now I know what that is. What's happening outside? Suva, what? Anyone? What? That can't be real. <laughs> what the hell just happened? That is not Evie. Shit, I should have. Shivers up my spine. I don't know how else to put it. Oh my gosh, I he went down there. No way. Look at the graffiti. That's awesome. So, wow, where are they? Look at those look at the trash cans. What a colorful looking area. What? Why are you doing this? It's step. Get the fuck off me, asshole. He just happens to find somebody who looks exactly like her. There. Oh Ms. shit, this is crazy. Yeah. yeah, that guy looks like a guy who created a anti-particle matter machine, whatever the hell he did. Take on me. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> he could have told you. I don't know where the hell Lori's story is going on. She was ready to go. And... Oh, I'd be easy. Oh, and shit, I he remembered the name. I, I, uh, I took a picture of my phone. Uh, I'm, I'm going to send that to you. Oh, you have the picture? He's on the picture? This is real. It's her. Holy shit. I know it. I want to see if she saw the picture, too. There's a picture of the picture? 
I don't like, yeah, I don't like how this guy has all this information about you and you don't know anything about him. Oh my god. Actually, so just sit in the box for a while. You got this. But they, what if they lock it, you know? You gotta really trust them. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, spill it. What the hell's happening? How did you survive? This is real. This is happening. Then drop the accent. What the fuck is going on? She told me to tell you that I was who you thought I was. And then you'd go away. She? I told you. Yeah, what? Oh, oh shit. No, Lori told her. She doesn't, she doesn't think it's Evie. love. Evie? What? what the fuck? Did the how'd you, how did you get her number? Her? How else would she have a number? To the hotel, okay? No, I'm not doing that. I... Don't tell me that she does, that's not actually her. The picture isn't her. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like her, does it? So it no longer looks like her, is that what you're saying? That's what the accent is, that's the only thing that makes sense. Because I think you knew that I could help you. I think he was trying to call John, actually. I think actually talked to him as like a patient. I think you can look at the lady as a different lady. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Kevin, are you and Nora okay? Nobody's okay, remember? Ask John about the fucking book he wrote about me. Oh, that seems insane, though. Can you really be that crazy? You don't even know what's going on there, and you can literally see different people. He, he doesn't come off as almost crazy to me, you know? It's more likely there are 140 million corpses Bodies. floating out there in space. <laughs> one of them will grow up to kill Oh, that, that's the freaking question he asks. The other one dies now. Huh, so it does come back. The woman at the bus stop who gave me her baby, that was a test, right? We have no idea what you're talking about. Kids die every day. What's one more? And I get to cure cancer? Of course I know. <coughs> I'm afraid we will not be proceeding any further. <laughs> what? What? Did I answer your stupid question wrong? Yeah, they based the whole thing on a question? Stop! Go home, Miss Durst. This isn't for you. Hate those two. Well, yeah, because you left. Because if you're having visions, he's going to want to put it in your fucking book. It's not my fucking book. Put it fucking cover fucking cover that are laying fires on books in hotel rooms. Oh, you never have to talk about it again. This is all gonna Why fall didn't apart. You stop me. I'm coming here. I'm giving her away, Lily. Because you decided you wanted to do it and you did it. You never even asked me what. <coughs> and if just like I when asked, just like when they moved to said. Miracle. And now you want a new baby? Are you fucking insane? Or are you afraid you're gonna give that one away too? You can't have a kid. No one would feel sorry for you. I do not want people to feel sorry for me. But you lost your kids. My kids are not dead. They are gone. Then you should go be with them. Whoa. That's mean, man. What the hell? That's evil. That's really harsh. Why would you say that to him? I don't care how angry you got. What the hell? Why would you say that? You know I'm going to apologize? <laughs> the explosion? The explosion? I'll be back. Whoa! Jeez. Don't say his name. <laughs> Are you alone here? Let's see, yeah. Yes. Wow. Alone anymore. Come on. The hell now? Now he's playing at the worst time. Like she's crying. Miles of tears. And gallons of tears. What? That's how you end that? It's horrible. Wow, that, that was that was just that was just horrible, man. It's so awful. But, but Patty did Patty did say something about that, right? She called that out early on in season two, that they were just clinging on to each other and it was it wasn't gonna lead to anything good. Um, that it was just gonna like you know go up in flames or something, right? Did she say something like that? I swear she did. I know she said something like that. I don't know if she used flames as an analogy, but it would be very apt for the situation if it was the case. That was the worst thing you could have said to her. You should go join your freaking kids and all that. I do hear what he's saying, though. You know, that saying you, you want people to feel sorry for you, so you're using that. You're, you're hiding behind them in a, in a way. I don't know if that's... I think that was extra cruel, and I don't think that's necessarily true. We still have to see where that goes in the series. She's not... She didn't... I thought she was going to kill herself for a second, but she didn't. So she's not dead or anything. No, she didn't have the courage to do so anyway, right? I don't know. You drive her far enough, she might, though. I don't think that's the case. It's... it's maybe... Maybe, I don't know. It could be a little... But it's hard to tell, you know? I think she just wants her freaking kids back. Like, anybody would. Anybody who lost their kids like that, never... Who, you know, they would... <laughs> wouldn't you want it back... 
it's it's not about getting it's not about getting past it getting you sh- i don't think you should ever get over that if you really loved someone you would never get over it not in that way i don't know you find a way to compartmentalize or something like you live your life but you should always keep that in the certain, somewhere on the side of you if they meant something to you you know you owe it to the worst thing you could do probably is forget them you know so you owe it to yourself to somehow continue on with that pain but never forget never forget if you're sad it means you still care or something like that there's a part of you that still lives in there but you gotta find you find a way to i don't know turn that into something useful not just sit around and mope all day but use it in some way turn it into something beautiful i think that would help but i don't think anyone should ever get get get, get, them, get over that that's the price of loving someone of caring about people is you're gonna that may stick with you forever if something happens for the rest of your life that'll be part of you part of who you are it changes who you are you know it's life and i don't know why kevin said that uh i feel like no matter how mad you get come on you gotta have a lid on your freaking words at least apologize after saying it something you just left you with that thought because you like what you want you want to hold that badly jesus <laughs> jesus and it's not like he's he's doing any better. They're both in horrible places, man. But Nora is known for that, that that as well. She does tend to just do things without asking. They moved to Miracle because of her. She didn't tell him anything, and he hated that. So that's gonna that's coming back like once again to bite him in the ass, bite both of them in the ass, because now she wants she she did this whole thing without asking. It just keeps happening, you know. I don't, I don't. I didn't like the two ladies. I mean, I guess maybe they're not supposed to be likable, but they had that smug expression. Oh, we know something you don't know, so we get to be arrogant and assholes. You know, let, leave you in the dark about what you're gonna be doing and everything like that. Oh, and that guy ended up in fire and flames, didn't he? The guy in Australia that, that, the, that the father met. The guy, uh, you know, he said, "Um, I wonder if we were supposed to recognize the guy who lit himself on fire." I wonder, because um, he was in one of those testimonials. I bet you, if you go back and watch the testimonials, you would have seen him in it. He said the question about the baby and the cancer, and then um, I like how I like how uh, Kevin Kevin Seniors just said straight up, "No, I would never do that. I would never do that." And the guy said, "Yeah, that's what that's what I said too." And then he burned himself alive because he got left behind. That would imply that what she said was the right thing, right? I don't understand. The other guy said he said the opposite and he got left behind. But she said she said she would let him die. And yet she is going to be left behind. It's got to be a setup, like a lie. It's like they said all that and they want her to um, find him or something. Like 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 it's some kind of a test. She got to earn her way up. I don't know. I don't know if the baby, I don't know what the whole baby thing is. I don't know what the hell all that stuff is about. I really hope that Kevin is not just going through more psychotic break situation is that really how that kind of stuff works because it seems so crazy i feel like i would know in my own mind you know um at the very least how is he he's not crazy because he is he he is he knows what reality is and he's seen this is this can't be reality something's wrong with him or whatever you know that to me isn't crazy the crazy people don't, 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 don't know they're crazy this guy kevin knows what's going on he's willing to listen and he's like, uh, is this really is, or is that, or am I just seeing things again? You know, that 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 says something about his state of mind. He's not he's not completely gone like that. So, geez, I could never live with someone like Lori because she's once she thinks you're crazy, she's she's just so her she sinks her mind into it, and then everything you do now is just see you're you're exhibiting more crazy behavior, and everything you say now she's not gonna believe. There's not an ounce in her. There's not a there's not a second for a second in her mind that he's not crazy. Maybe I'm not. It doesn't matter to her already. She's convinced he is. And everything he does and says, she's just looking at a crazy person now. Her eyes change now when she looks at him. I hate that. I hate that. I don't like that about her. I don't like that. She's she just For her it's all about, you know, signals and the uh she like a checklist. And if you meet enough of those those if you meet if you meet, I guess it's like any scientist then, right? If you meet enough check boxes, you are suddenly this thing and you couldn't be possibly something else, maybe? She's just cold like that. It's all clinical for her. 
oh, you meet all the check boxes, you must be this. There is no other explanation. You're exhibiting all the signs of schizophrenia or whatever the heck he supposedly has. Psychotic breakdowns and stuff. Maybe he's right. Listen to him. He doesn't sound crazy to me. He sounds like somebody who's trying to rationalize the insanity that's happening around him. He's figuring something out. He knows he's seen something. So that should tell you enough that he's not that crazy because he's actually seen it. He knows what's going on. He's trying to fix it. But you're so convinced that the only thing he could be is that. I hate that. I hate the suddenty of it all. There's now, you know, in other words, you're not listening to him anymore. No matter what he says, you're not listening to him. But if he was right, it doesn't matter because to you, it's all insanity. I don't know. Well, anyway. So, at the end of the episode, I mean, damn, that was horrible. He left her in this horrible state. Those two ladies didn't help that much. With the questions and all that stuff. But he ended up with his dad by the end of it. What are the odds? How did he end up in the hospital? I mean, how did he end up at the hotel? Why are they all... Everybody just running into each other. Just willy-nilly. How does that work? How does that work, man? For a second there, I thought the whole Evie hallucination stuff. I thought that was real. And that she was... Like like a like a secret agent or something. I don't know. I thought Lori and her were working together. How did he, how did she have the lady's number though? Maybe she called the hospital. I don't know. How, I don't know why anyone would have given her a number. I don't know how she got that number. But um, that's kind of weird. But um, anyway, it's insane. That was insane. Insane. Uh, I don't know where we're going with all that. It's so terrible. There's only four more episodes and. No, of them are in, the, in, a, in a horrible position right now. Just bad place. And he also put the idea in um, Lori's head now. Telling him about the book that him and, and they were in about him. And now, now she's going to have to dig into that. And then she's going to start looking at, oh, no, he has all these symptoms of this and stuff. See, everything to her is you're either crazy or not crazy. Whatever. Don't like Lori. Terrible. Uh, don't really like Kevin right now either. I don't like, I, 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 uh, I, I never really liked Lola that much, but she didn't deserve to be called what, called that shit. That was the worst thing you could have said. And the brilliant part is it didn't even have any swear words in it. It, because it's not about the swear words, you know, it's, it's about the intent and what, what was said and, and it was personal to her in a way you can't believe. And he just left her like that. What a horrible thing to say. He would never have said that at the beginning of the relationship. <laughs> Damn, you say that now when she cares about you and everything? That's nuts. Well, that's it. He ends up running into his father somehow in a crazy-ass coincidence. And they end up in the car together. They're going to go back to the thing. I don't know what's going to happen there, but um, he didn't say his name. So I hope he doesn't. He's, the dad's probably going to tell him, don't say your name. Keep this between us and everything and all that. But nobody knows what our names are. We're going to stick it, stick it that way because I feel as though that lady would start doing something if he did. I wonder if I wonder if Kevin Senior is now taking over their little congregation as like the leader or something like the Moses or like the speaker for God. I don't know. Uh, I also like I also liked how he said Jesus before he saw him. Very apt name for what's happening. And he burnt the book. He also I just he burnt the book. So is that it? That's the only copy. I don't know. I don't know how many copies Matt has anymore. It's funny. Because both Kevin's went burnt his books. <laughs> Kevin Sr. burnt the... Dist not burnt, but he destroyed the other one, threw it away. And this Kevin went burnt the other one. <laughs> so, don't give your book to Kevin. That's for sure. Because he's going to do this in a hotel room somewhere. And just, or throw it in the trash or something. Don't give books to these guys. Okay, that's the lesson I learned from this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, number f episode 5. Oh, man, I didn't, I, I, I didn't like how he left Nora. Like that's such a horrible position. If she didn't want to kill herself before, now is a good time to do it. She got not. What else is she living for now? She was denied access by those people. And Kevin just dropped her like a ton of bricks in a horrible way. And he didn't even apologize. I don't like that. But it looks like she's determined to find them. So I think that's where she's going from here. She's going to go find these freaking bitches who denied her access to the other side. I didn't like those ladies. They're terrible. <laughs> terrible. Terrible ladies. And, uh, uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of where we left off. Okay. I'll see you guys next one.